For many years, New York City has acted as the entrance to America, with its airports providing the initial experience of one of the globe's most significant economic and cultural centers. Nevertheless, John F. Kennedy International Airport, or JFK, is one of the busiest air travel hubs in the country, has consistently faced challenges with outdated infrastructure, a poor layout, and growing congestion. Currently, a $19 billion upgrade seeks to modernize JFK, yet the project's enormous cost prompts essential inquiries. What makes it so pricey? What turns it into such a formidable technological obstacle? The key question is whether it will effectively turn JFK into a genuinely world-class airport. Let's jump straight in. New York City is unquestionably the largest city economy in the United States. Furthermore, it is also among the leading financial hubs globally. Thus, it significantly depends on transportation infrastructure, whether on land or in the air. Regrettably, major airports such as JFK, LaGuardia and Newark are presently struggling with the significant volume of travelers that utilize them. JFK, specifically, is notable for its massive number of passengers. The airport covers an area of 5,200 acres and accommodates more than 62 million passengers each year. This number of travelers ranks it as the sixth most crowded airport in the U.S. and places it among the top airports for international passenger movement. Nonetheless, the airport's haphazard design formed over years from separately constructed terminals has led to a fragmented and ineffective layout that does not comply with contemporary standards and often causes inconvenience for the travelers who must navigate it. Before we move on to the solution, I'd like to ask you a small favor. If you like this content, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Over 98% of you watch the videos without subscribing. Imagine what we could accomplish if everyone subscribed. It costs you nothing, but it makes a huge difference to us. So, is it done? Great. Thank you so much. So what's the solution we mentioned? An ambitious, high-tech overhaul that includes four major terminal redevelopment projects, expanded infrastructure, and state-of-the-art technology. The most significant piece of this transformation is the new Terminal 1. This transformation is estimated to cost around $9.5 billion. The plan is to build the terminal on the sites that have the current Terminal 1 as well as Terminals 2 and 3. Spanning 2.6 million square feet, it will raise the number of gates to 23. It will also incorporate cutting-edge features, including biometric screening, a football field-sized security checkpoint, and a 12-megawatt solar-powered microgrid of 13,000 solar panels to reduce reliance on external energy sources, which would definitely make it one of the most expensive aspects of the upgrade. Well, that and the estimated 33,000 tons of steel needed to complete Phase A. Although Terminal 1 itself is pretty cost-heavy, that doesn't mean the other updates are any cheaper. Shifting over to Terminal 6, a brand new 1.2 million square foot facility is taking shape on the former sites of Terminals 6 and 7. Designed for a seamless passenger experience, the new terminal will feature a spacious departure curb, direct connections to JetBlue's Terminal 5, and easy access to two air train stations. Travelers can expect a convenient five-minute walk from TSA security to their gates. The terminal will house 10 gates, nine of which are built to accommodate wide-body aircraft and will also feature advanced baggage systems, upgraded customs facilities, and cutting-edge TSA screening technologies. Additionally, there are several airline lounges and a new arrivals lounge where travelers can unwind. The project is progressing in two stages, with the initial five gates set to open in 2026 and full completion expected by 2028, provided everything proceeds as intended. Another notable feature is that the $4.2 billion redevelopment initiatives aim to provide various opportunities for businesses owned by minorities and women, service-disabled veterans, and local enterprises. The next upgrade is for Terminal 4. The $1.5 billion expansion has been substantially completed, which has significantly increased airport capacity by adding 10 new aircraft parking positions, an additional domestic baggage claim carousel, and consolidating all Delta operations into Terminal 4. Adding 10 new gates primarily for regional and domestic flights, 
The expansion has also introduced modernized check-in halls, expanded drop-off areas, and upgraded technology. Additionally, several regional jet gates were transformed to accommodate larger mainline aircraft. Meanwhile, Terminal 8 is receiving a further expansion, building on its $400 million expansion completed in 2022. The next phase will introduce a grand hall featuring over 60 dining and retail options, many of which will showcase local New York businesses. Beyond terminal upgrades, one of the most ambitious aspects of JFK's transformation is the $3.9 billion roadway enhancement and ground transportation center. This massive infrastructure project aims to simplify JFK's notoriously complex five-loop roadway system, replacing it with a more intuitive three-loop design that will be easier for drivers to navigate. Key features include advanced traffic management technology, improved wayfinding systems, new bridges, retaining walls, and upgraded utilities. The new ground transportation center will provide nearly 2,000 parking spaces and feature a 400-foot elevated pedestrian bridge, complete with a dedicated bike lane, canopies, and provisions for food trucks. The financial structure of this expensive redevelopment is a really important factor to look at as well. Terminal 1's construction is being financed privately by a consortium, which comprises investment firm Carlisle, investor and asset management firm JLC Infrastructure, infrastructure operator Ferrovial, and insurance and financial services holding company Ulico. In June 2022, the consortium finalized the construction debt financing for the project. The funding was sourced from a consortium of lenders which comprises quite a few banks. But why would private investors put their money into a city-owned airport? The answer lies in long-term leasing agreements. Private investors acquire the ability to manage the terminals, retail areas and parking lots, producing consistent income from one of the nation's busiest airports. With JFK managing more than 60 million travelers each year, and forecasts indicating that figure may rise to 100 million by 2050, investing in its future presents a pretty appealing opportunity. While this public-private model enables rapid development, it also raises concerns over higher airline operating costs, which could translate into more expensive tickets for travelers. The Port Authority is contributing $3.9 billion to the redevelopment, which covers the roadway and infrastructure improvements. This represents roughly 21% of the total project cost, making it the only portion of the expansion funded by taxpayers. The remaining 80% is being financed through private investment, with multiple groups funding different terminal projects. Expenses aside, renovating one of the world's busiest airports isn't exactly the easiest engineering challenge to overcome. With dense highways and a significant amount of population and traffic around it, just transporting all the material required for the rebuild is a logistical nightmare. To combat that challenge due to congestion in the surrounding neighborhoods and highways, barges are being used to transport materials like rocks and sand via waterways instead of roads. This approach, spearheaded by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, aims to remove 300,000 truck journeys and cut down 1.5 million miles of roadway travel. One of the clearest challenges for the renovation might be maintaining operations at one of the world's busiest airports during this period. But with the renovations coming around in phases, it means that most of the airport would stay operational for the numerous travelers that need it. Despite its promise, the project faces significant technological and logistical hurdles. Construction must be carefully staged to avoid major disruptions to ongoing airport operations. Combining new infrastructure with JFK's outdated systems will necessitate advanced engineering solutions, ranging from energy-efficient terminals to AI-based security checks. One major worry regarding the redevelopment is its insufficient emphasis on enhancing transit links between JFK and the rest of New York City, like maybe introducing a new subway line for connectivity. Even with billions invested in airport improvements, Numerous New Yorkers still consider JFK's public transit options unsatisfactory, especially when compared to other significant international airports. The construction process itself has also made navigation more challenging for travelers, and the airport's layout remains fragmented 
due to limited direct connections between terminals. Additionally, while Terminal 1's massive expansion is a major step forward, some critics argue that the number of new gates being added is still insufficient given the airport's projected growth. Regardless of these challenges, JFK's $19 billion transformation is set to reshape air travel in New York City, positioning it to meet increasing demand while striving to become a world-class global hub. If everything goes well, then we'll get to see the airport fully rebuilt by 2030, so stay tuned. And that's about it for New York's $19 billion airport rebuild. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more of the juiciest infrastructure and project updates around.